بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر ہیرا اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر آف ریڈیالوجی دس ویڈیو از آل اباؤٹ ریڈنگ اینڈ انٹرپریٹنگ چیسٹ ایکس رے ان اے سمپلیفائڈ مینر سو اسٹارٹنگ فرام دا بیسک وین یو اسٹارٹ ریڈنگ دا ایکس رے یو نیڈ ٹو نو وچ از دا رائٹ اینڈ لیفٹ سائڈ بیسکلی اٹ از مارکڈ آن دا ایکس رے ان دا فارم آف اے مارکر ایز یو سی ان ہیئر رائٹ از ریٹن سو دس از دا رائٹ سائڈ اینڈ دس از دا لیفٹ سائڈ آلویز از یوم دیٹ پیشنٹ ٹو وچ ایکس رے belong is facing you right side of chest x-ray is your left side and left side of chest x-ray is your right side now i will tell you uh, structures which are seen on x-ray this central lucent line is of trachea here it's dividing uh, point which is known as carina this is the right main bronchus and this is the left main bronchus these are the ribs clavicle scapula humerus heart hemidiaphragms left hemidiaphragm right hemidiaphragm right cp angle costophrenic angle right cardiophrenic angle same here on the left side this is a gastric bubble left hilum right hilum next point is to assess the quality of the image four points rotation inspiration projection and exposure to see whether the film is rotated or not spinous process should always lie half way between the medial end of the clavicle these uh, raindrop like structures are the spinous processes projected over the trachea Uh, they uh, these are they should be in the midline and equidistant from the medial end of the clavicle if the patient is rotated then interpretation of x-ray becomes difficult as trachea and heart size could not be commented upon uh, next point to assess the quality of image is inspiration a uh, chest x-ray should be done in full inspiratory phase as diaphragm should be intersected by Five to six ribs anterior, and eight to ten rib posterior, and uh, ribs in the mid clavicular line. These are the anterior ribs: first anterior rib, second, third, fourth, fifth, and this is the sixth. And this sixth rib intersect the diaphragm in the mid clavicular line. Now count the posterior ribs: first rib. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Eight to ten rib intersect the diaphragm posteriorly. So this is the film taken in full inspiration. If less ribs are seen, then film is either taken in in expiratory phase or the inspiratory effort is poor. And if more ribs are seen, then the hyperinflated lungs. Uh, next uh, step in the quality of image is projection to see whether the film is ap or pa view pa view means postero anterior view in which the x rays enter through back and the film which is placed in the cassette is along the anterior aspect of the chest and the opposite is in the ap film in which the beam enters from front and the film is on the back side of the patient and the ap views are taken in patients which are admitted in icu not able to stand or sick patients uh, with proper exposure the spine should barely visible or faintly visible behind the heart this is the spine vertebral bodies if these are clearly visible then the film is overexposed when you have to read or interpret the x ray always follow a systematic approach either start from inward to outwards or other way is the to follow a mnemonic which is a b c d e a stands for airway which means trachea carina or bronchus to uh, see is there any pathology within this area next is b b means breathing or bones breathing means lung fields lungs contains air and the air looks black if there is any disease as consolidation pleural effusion then 
air is replaced by the fluid and the fluid seen as white which is uh, terms as opacity. Then the third is mnemonic is C which means cardiac. So, this is the heart area on the x-ray, this is the right heart border and this is the left heart border. Right heart border is mainly formed by the right atrium of the heart and the left heart border is formed by the left ventricle. Right mediastinal border uh, contains the structures mainly the right atrium, then superiorly SVC which drains into the right atrium and inferiorly IVC which also opens into the right atrium. So, the right mediastinal border is formed by SVC, right atrium and IVC. On the left side starting from above this is the aortic knuckle, below the aortic knuckle this is the area of the main pulmonary artery, this is the area for the left atrial appendage and this mainly left heart border is formed by the left ventricle. Next step is to assess the heart size, we use the term cardiothoracic ratio or CTR which is uh, cardiac width, maximum cardiac width divided by thoracic width. It should be less than 50 percent or 0 0.5. Cardiac size always assess in PA view not in AP view. Next mnemonic is D which is diaphragm. Check the diaphragm, right hemidiaphragm, uh, right costophrenic and cardiophrenic angles and the left hemidiaphragm. In healthy individuals, right hemidiaphragm is higher than the left hemidiaphragm. This hemidiaphragm is higher than the left hemidiaphragm and left hemidiaphragm is lower due to the heart. And below the left hemidiaphragm, gastric bubble is seen. If the air is seen below the or beneath the right hemidiaphragm, then it is an alarmic situation as it represents the air due to perforation which is termed as pneumoperitoneum. These CP angles should be sharp. If there is blunting of CP angle is seen or if these are obscured then the fluid is present in the pleural cavity which is termed as pleural effusion. Then the last point is E which is everything else which includes lines catheters, NG tube, ECG leads, CVP lines, sternotomy sutures and prosthetic valves. These are the hilum. Left hilum is higher than the right hilum. This is higher up than the right side and the both hyla is concave laterally. If they are bulky or convex in form then uh, possible causes are either lymph nodes in the hilum or in large pulmonary arteries. Uh, now see the chest wall and uh, compare chest wall on both sides and the contours of the uh, ribs should be uh, evaluated as well and the other bones which are also seen on the x-ray as scapula, uh, humeral heads should also be checked to uh, see any fracture or bony pathology. This is all about uh, basic of normal chest x-ray. Now I will show you some pathologies. This is a chest x-ray in which there is homogeneous haze seen along the left hemithorax which is obscuring the left CP angle, cardiac and diaphragmatic sillet and extending along the left lateral chest wall. So this is the case of pleural effusion which is seen as this opacity. This is the bedside case as you see sternotomy sutures are seen. So, this patient is admitted in ICU. This is another chest x-ray in which sternotomy sutures are seen and this uh, rounded opacity is the prosthetic mitral valve and these calcified nodules are likely granulomas. This is another chest x-ray on first post-op day, this is the CVP line, these are the sternotomy sutures, ECG leads, 
this is the drainage tube and these are the inhomogeneous fibrotic bands in the right load zone. This is another chest x-ray in which homogeneous haze is seen obscuring bilateral CP angles and extending along the lateral chest wall representing pleural effusion, cardiac size appears enlarged. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends.